Hey everyone, Felds45 here, and this video is going to show you how to fix the Easy Cap to work with Windows 7. If you have this device, you've probably plugged it in and realized that the driver disk doesn't work, Windows 7 automatic update doesn't work, so how are we going to get it to work? Well, I found a solution back in 2009, and I shared it with YouTube, and it had great press. It has 600 plus likes, 160,000 views, and uh, that's sad because I shortly abandoned my channel and stopped checking on it. Uh, shortly after making that because YouTube was saying that I wasn't allowed to capture Windows 7 But now I'm with a network and I can do whatever the hell I want So let's go ahead and get started on fixing your easy cap so you can get uploading videos to YouTube and be awesome So let's get started. What do we do? Well, we got to plug our easy cap in right now Mine's actually plugged in so I got to plug it back in Okay, and what we're gonna see ah, I'm hitting my microphone. Sorry guys. We're gonna see this. USB composite device works, which is awesome. USB audio interface, great, because I kinda wanna capture audio. 2.0 video capture controller, no div no driver foul, what? We kinda need that to capture video, right guys? So we're gonna fix that. Go ahead and click close. And this is the point where we download the drivers that work. I compiled these back in 2009, tested them, and they still work, they're great. And uh, I will be hosting them on my own private website, plusoneawesome.com. The mistake I made last time, I hosted them on a website that was a file sharing site. And since then, many years have passed, they require you to log in. The account is free, but you have to make an account to download files. And that's really annoying. I hate doing that. I'm sorry, guys. It wasn't always like that. So now I will just put these on my site to where you can download uh, the files without having to log in or sign up for anything because I hate having to do that and I'm sorry I put you guys through that but for shared was not always like that um, so I will have a couple different files you can download this is the all-inclusive package it I think rard up it's uh, four megs and it has everything on the driver disk that works like the video capture device and uh, some other applications. I wouldn't recommend them just because there are much better programs like Virtual Dub out there that are free and capture better quality. I can make videos on how to use Virtual Dub with your EasyCap as well if you, if you prefer, but I'll also have uh, smaller files where just the drivers are included. So um, anyway, there will be a link in the description on how to get these. Click the one that you like best and uh, download that to your desktop, I'd recommend, and unzip it or unraw it. Oh, no, it'd be a zip. So yeah, let's extract that, and I've already done that. That's what this is. Where do we go from here? Well, we need to install them. So go to Start Computer, right-click the background. Do not click a device. You do not want to right-click a hard drive or a flash drive. Right-click the white background, click Properties. Once you're in here, go to Device Manager. And uh, there are a million ways to get to Device Manager. So if you're a technology wizard, go ahead and choose your favorite way. So if you've ever been in here, you know when something's wrong. You have this little caution light, and uh, that means it wasn't installed properly. So we're going to right-click it, Update Driver Software. This screen, if we click Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software, that's essentially going to do the same thing as when we first plugged it in. It's going to say, hey, Windows, do you have the driver for this? And Windows is going to give us the finger and uh, then we just mope away and cry. So we're gonna do browse my computer for driver software, and I've already done it, so I have this here, and I'm gonna remove that because I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if you have it on your desktop, remember it has to be unzipped, you cannot use the zipped folder. Click browse, and uh, my desktop is messy, I apologize. For instance, desktop crap, I'm grumpy. <laughs> A lot of random stuff. So here is the EasyCap W7 drivers. The naming convention might be a little different if you've downloaded the all-inclusive or just the drivers, but just did, click the folder that you downloaded. It's pretty simple. Uh, and instead of clicking on 684, or excuse me, 64-bit uh, or 32, just click the top level. And that's because Windows can automatically uh, determine whether or not you have 32 or 64-bit uh, drivers. So click the top level and click OK and then click Next. And it's going to say, don't trust Feltus45 because he's a D-bag and he's out to ruin your computer. No, <laughs> it's just saying that Windows does not host this driver, therefore it is not trustworthy. It's just like connecting to Wi-Fi that doesn't have a password on it. 
you're not going to get a virus. And if I do, I have a presence on YouTube I do not want to destroy. I have a reputation to uphold. So I'm not a D-bag. <laughs> I'm going to help you guys. So instead of clicking don't install this driver and throwing your easy cap in the trash, we're going to click install this driver software anyway. And much to no one's surprise, there's no virus. <laughs> and uh, we have this device installed, which is great. So we're going to close this out and I'm going to verify that we work or that it worked. Uh, which program should I use? What I'm actually using my EasyCap for is creating a um, custom security system in my house and it has a bunch of different cameras. Um, so let's go ahead and add our EasyCap. As you can see, I have a Blackmagic Intensity Pro that I use for pretty much everything. Uh, but I had an EasyCap lying around in my USB 2.0. If you want to check out some of my videos on how to capture the EasyCap with like the best quality, go to my channel and just look for them. And uh, hey, there it is, we're playing Asteroids. Now I can play Atari into the morning light. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope this video helped you. If it didn't, please leave a very detailed comment below. And uh, hopefully we can work something out. Don't do messages because when I help you there, it's not public and it won't help anyone else. If we do comments, uh, it will actually, people can search it and they might find solutions. And that's ultimately the goal of this video. So, um, I'm, again, thanks for, thanks for watching and like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you later.